Um, here we go with spices and herbs, the KISS method 103, because I don't really spend that much time worrying about whether my spices are fresh and up to date. I've got a system and you're going to have a system now too. But what if there isn't a bulk store, uh, that, a store, that, store near you that sells bulk spices? And that definitely can be the case. What are your options? Um, one thing I can think of uh, is that if you do any traveling at all, is use that as an opportunity to, when you're, you're driving by a place that does have those kind of spices, drop in and get a whole bunch, you know, get 10 or 15 or 20 bags of all the different spices to last you for the year so you can try anything. And what if it only adds up to like $25? It, uh, you know, that's what I recommend. The one thing I would say about that though is the temperature needs to be moderate or the spices need to be kept cool because if that car, if it's more than 60 degrees out and that car is warming up, it is not good for spices to be in the heat. In fact, one of the things, and I'm going to be talking more about spices, where to keep them and store them, store them is, don't, I don't recommend, uh, they're never, it's never recommended to keep them by the stove where it's hot. You'll keep them in a cabinet where it's cooler and they're out of the, the light. Now, Another thing that I want to talk to you about is how do you actually learn about spices and herbs and how to use them? And um, when you watch cooking shows, I'm going to tell you, here is the answer. It's the RRR method. It's called try a recipe, rinse and repeat, try another recipe. I've made hundreds, well, well over a thousand different recipes because I love to try recipes and they just all have these different things in them and that's what's holding you back a lot of times from trying a recipe. I mean this one, uh, onions, tomatoes, olive oil, that's easy to find but the, the dill, what if, and, and we'll be talking about fresh fresh herbs and, in, a, in a future video and so that's why I want you to keep these spices on hand. So is one the one year keep your spices updated? What about whole spices? Yes, a whole spice like nutmeg and other whole spices do last longer than a year. So you can definitely go another year with a whole spice where you're uh, going to be crushing it or grinding it yourself. And, but anything that's already ground like this, is is just not going to last. So now I want to talk to you about uh, what equipment you need. You actually don't need a lot of equipment. In fact, I don't think you need a mortar and pestle. You see these other cooking shows. They sometimes you'll read about it in the book. I don't think that's necessary uh, to be a fabulous cook. Uh, what's not, one of the things that's necessary is to make sure you have fresh spices. And I have a story about that. I had a student who um, took more than one class and she came back in a, a later class and said, I made that recipe from your class, Deanna, and it didn't taste good. So I went out and replaced all my spices and then I made it again and it tasted just like it, it did in your class. I think that's a very valuable story to, um, re that we can all relate to. So uh, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the equipment next. This is Deanna Olson, Get Real in the Kitchen. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And it's live from Denver, one take.